guys welcome back to my channel it's me Luchi and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I wash and deep condition my hair this is pretty much my wash day routine so I hope you guys like it so first thing I do is I section off my hair into many different sections I used to use only four sections before but this time I decided to use several sections I think I did about 10 sections and then after that I like to finger detangle each section I did that many sections because I knew my hair was really tangled from the last hairstyle I did and I wore that hairstyle for a month and a week so I knew my hair really needed some detangling and careful washing pretty much. And then after dividing my hair into sections and finger detangling, I like to comb my hair with a white tooth comb and after using my white tooth comb, I like to go in with my tangle teaser. <laughs> My hair is really difficult to detangle, like my hair isn't very soft. The only time my hair is soft is when it's actually wet and conditioned. So detangling is a huge deal for me, like I really have to spend my time to detangle my hair. So you're going to see that throughout this video, like even after I washed my hair, I had to detangle it after washing it. I had to detangle before washing, after washing and even while I was deep conditioning my hair. Because I have 4C hair, I have so many knots and tangles and two strand knots in my hair. So those take like a while to detangle. So after detangling everything, it's time to wash my hair. Oh my god, I struggled to film this scene. Like it was just such a hassle having my camera in there and my light and everything but i made it work so now i'm just washing my hair in sections when you wash your hair also make sure to massage your scalp and just take your time and actually wash every single strand of hair just to make sure that you're getting rid of all the products that you've had building up in your hair since your last protective style i actually tangled my hair there i was trying to detangle it and i couldn't i ended up cutting that part of my hair because i just couldn't detangle it and also one tip that I have for you guys is if you want to detangle your hair, it's good to detangle it with running water and conditioner. For this wash day, I actually did not use regular conditioner because I had plans to deep condition eventually. So I pretty much just used a shampoo to wash my hair and then now you're going to see me deep condition my hair. So I like to dry my hair with a t-shirt rather than a towel because towels cause your hair to freeze up. It causes more tangling. When you dry your hair with a t-shirt, you're able to retain some of that moisture from washing your hair and that's really good for your hair. This is my first time using this product. So I used um, this Proclaim Deep Conditioner Cholesterol Mask that I got from Sally's. This was actually $3 for this whole thing. I, I just coated my hair with the conditioner and then I sealed it with some olive oil. This made my hair super super soft. The instructions say to leave it for 15 minutes, deep condition your hair for 15 minutes but I left mine overnight because that's how I tend to deep condition. This made my hair so so soft, like it's an amazing deep conditioner, I recommend that you buy it and you get just so much, you get so much product for your money so... I'm just gonna cover my hair with some plastic cap and then I also like to wrap my hair with a scarf just so that it can cause more heat retention. If I'm staying at home, I would wrap my hair with two scarves but I had somewhere to go so I pretty much just tied my hair with a scarf. So that's pretty much my deep conditioning routine. The next day I hopped into the shower and I washed off the deep conditioner from my hair. Now I'm just gonna apply some olive oil and some leave-in conditioner as well as my homemade shea butter cream which I already did a tutorial for. It's gonna be in the description bar. That's pretty much what I do. I like to wear my hair in its natural afro state. I'm trying to get into wash and goes but usually I just wear my afro out in its natural state. And if you guys saw the shedding that I had, that's typical for me. Whenever I wear my hair in a protective style for about a month and a half or around that time period, I have about that same amount of shedding. That's normal for me. 
because like I said I have to detangle my hair a lot because I have so many knots in my hair and I think that may also be as a result of me not trimming my hair yet so I'm gonna be trimming my hair tomorrow actually because I'm gonna be straightening my hair and trimming it so You guys can see my hair is so soft and bouncy and it's just the most beautiful feeling right now because I can never get my hair this soft except I deep condition it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in all my next videos. Love you. Bye-bye. If you give your heart to me, I don't go let